The first thing is you actually have to set up the ArcGIS Online site. So it's, it's based in the cloud and it's provided by um, the software supplier Esri. And then after that, primarily what the administrator gets to do is manage accounts. I've got the power, or the admin rights, to um, create accounts and, and delete them. On campus we've got a lot of different users, so if it's a particular course uh, that's different from someone who um, wants to use ArcGIS Online for other functionality. In terms of students, there's a few methods you can use, and the one I use is students will get an email that they need to respond to and then set up a password and some security questions. With supporting teachers, it's, it's maybe more along the lines of discussing just what's appropriate, what kind of account is appropriate. If it's for a particular course and the student body moves on from one year to the next, we've found that, well, maybe it's better to have a group of generic course accounts that live on while the course continues, rather than um, creating individual accounts. And then you can essentially drag, so, you, know, yeah. you only got to do it once and then Teachers, I guess, I'm always here to test their instructions, make sure they, the thing works, maybe write some instructions if it's where I think I've got, you know, a better idea than they do, um, maybe a bit more expertise. So certainly in terms of creating a web map after the field trip, they can do it within ArcGIS Online if they've got an individual account, or they can actually use, um, download the data and use the full ArcGIS desktop software. So I'm, I'm kind of a crash test dummy ultimately, and uh, I like to see it working smoothly, so put people in the right direction.